13 is on your side. With all of this snow and cold, it's important to know cold health safety. I spoke with a doctor about what you need to look out for. Whether you're building a snowman or shoveling snow, the cold, wet weather can turn dangerous fast. Frostbite and hypothermia can happen. So really in a matter of, oh, a few minutes really even in very cold weather. That's Dr. Annette Gilmer, senior public health physician for the state of Michigan. She says both frostbite and hypothermia are serious concerns this winter and can be life threatening and needing medical care. Most serious consequences is hypothermia. Hypothermia happens when your body temperature dips below 95 degrees. The first sign is typically extreme shivering. Kind of changes in your thought process, maybe making poor decisions. Um, being a little confused or fumbling with your hands or not being as coordinated. So those signs can be um, pretty subtle. Frostbite is when your skin tissue actually freezes when exposed to the cold. It can permanently damage your body and in some cases cause amputation. It can start with just a reddening and pain in those extremities, but it leads eventually you can get a whitening or a lightening of color. Frostbite symptoms begin with red, then pale skin. You will also start to go numb in that area. Muscle stiffness can then set in, and it can even cause blisters in severe cases. Caution to dark-skinned people that that color change is not always as apparent. The hallmark there is numbness. The best way to avoid both serious health risks is to limit your time outdoors in cold weather. But if you do have to go outside, avoid getting wet and bundle up. Dress in layers. You don't want any. You know, you don't want your hands and your face exposed, you want a hat and gloves. Um, actually, they recommend mittens more than gloves, and that kind of keeps your uh, fingers warmer.